spinal cord definition it is a column of nerve tissue that runs from the base of the skull down the center of the back gives off the pairs of spinal nerves carries impulses to and from the brain and serves as a center for initiating and coordinating many reflexes that is first definition so it is a nerve tissue uh, consisting of white and gray matter begins from the base of the skull go down till the level of l1 uh, between l1 and l2 it is covered by three thin layer of protective tissue called membranes the spinal cord and membranes are surrounded all of them by the vertebrae backbone or what is known backbone the spinal cord and the brain make up the central nervous system the other defini definition the spinal cord is a long fragile tube like structure it looks like firm white fat condensed fat that begins at the end of the brainstem then brainstem the brainstem which formed by part of the brain that formed by midbrain pons and medulla oblongata and al mustaqim and continues downward almost to the bottom of the spine yani bottom of the spine fi qa al 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 the spinal cord consists of nerves that carry incoming and outgoing messages between the brain and the rest of the body idan منطقة لتوصيل العازات العصبية من الجسم إلى الدماغ ومن الدماغ إلى الجسم سؤال Where does the spinal cord start and end? كلش مهم Where does the spinal cord start and end? In human the spinal cord begins at the, at the occipital bone passing through the foramen magnum which is the great foramen in the skull and entering the spinal canal at the beginning of the cervical vertebrae then the spinal cord extends down to the to between the first and second lumbar vertebrae The other question, what are the functions of the spinal cord? The spinal cord carries out the following functions. First, it connects a large part of the peripheral nervous system to the brain. As you know, the general nervous system in general consists of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. So. The spinal cord connects a large part of the peripheral nervous system to the brain. The second, the spinal cord also acts as a minor coordinating center responsible for some sample reflex like the withdrawal reflex. الرد الفعل الارتدادي مثلا عندما توغز في إبرة سترى اليد أو ال ال جزء من الجسم سيتحرك برد فعل انعكاسي سريع ولا ارادي to relay messages from the brain to different part of the body and perform action so when an order coming from the brain to a muscle or to any other part of the body it is an order to make an action so the last one or fourth function to pass along the messages from the sensor receptor to the brain like task like vision like taste sorry taste vision and so on so summary the functions of the uh, spinal cord connect between the body 
the central nervous system, uh, the brain to the body, to the different part of the body, conduct orders from the brain to the periphery and re again the sensation, uh, transmit sensation from the body to the brain and uh, acts and action and also responsible for simple reflexes like the withdrawal reflex. The other question, where is the location of the spinal cord and how it made up and covering? The spinal cord is located in the vertebral canal, which formed by the foramen, by the foramen, a vertebral foramen, and is made up of 31 segment, 8 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, and five sacral and one coccygeal. When we say segment of the spinal cord, it means, it means part. It is not segmented in, 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 in real to be a, a separated segment, but they are, according to its origin, are segmented, uh, considered segmented uh, according to the nerve supply to the, to the body. And then, Eight cervical, twelve thoracic, five lumbar, five sacral, and one coccygeal. A pair of spinal nerves leaves each segment of the spinal cord. The length of the spinal cord is about 45 centimeter in men and 43 centimeter in women. And the diameter is one centimeter to 1.5 centimeter in diameter. Two enlargement of the spinal cord can be visible, visualized. The cervical enlargement uh, here, where the brachial plexus arises from the cervical region, distributed to the uh, upper arm, which extend between C3 to T1. C3, it means cervical vertebra 3 to uh, T1, cervical vertebra, uh, uh, thoracic vertebra, T1, or the third segment of the, of the spinal cord to the T1 segment of the spinal cord in the thoracic region. And the lumbar enlargement, that is the second enlargement, the lumbar enlargement, which extends between L1 to S2. L1 to S2. It means from the beginning of the a lumbar segments of the spinal cord till the second segment of the sacral region. The cord is sheathed, it means covered, in the same three meninges as the brain, the pia mater, arachnoid, and the dura mater. The dura is the tough outer sheath, the arachnoid lies beneath it, and the pia close adheres to the surface of the cord like the pyramid of the brain it is adhered to the brain the spinal cord is attached to the dura by a series of lateral denticulate ligament the spinal cord is attached to the dura by a series of lateral denticulate ligament emerging from the spear fold emerging from the pia fold that cause what cause pain in the spinal cord that is another question how pain induced or occur in the spinal cord it is very important point uh, we have to know something about it first repeated heavy lifting or sudden a work work word movement can strain back muscle repeated heavy lifting or sudden a backward movement can strain back muscle and the spinal ligaments so if you are you are in poor physical condition be وضع جسماني غير طبيعي Constant strain on your back can cause painful muscle spasm. 
إذا كنت في وضع جلوس أو في وضع جسم غير طبيعي مائل إلى آخره وأحدثت ضغط على العضلات و ligaments of the trunk will cause painful muscle spasm or may cause bulging or rupture disc the disc we mean the inter we mean by it the intervertebral disc the rupture of the disc means the rupture of the nucleus pulposus uh, you know the disc form of peripheral uh, cartilage and central a gelatinous substance which is which is the nucleus pulposus disc acts as a cushion between the bone vertebra in your spine so look at the diagram first show you the first disc it is normal the second disc it is generated disc the third is bulging disc just bulging not herniated no structure while the uh, the fourth is herniated disc the fifth thin disc and the last one degenerated disc with the osteophyte formation the new bone formation now uh, very nice uh, pictures show you the compression of the peripheral nerves when it's come out from the intervertebral foramen by the ruptured disc ruptured disc okay or herniated disc here is a, a mri mri picture show you the herniated disc how it's compressed on the uh, spinal cord that is the other one compressed nerve by a ruptured disc is the gelatinous substance coming out to compress on the uh, peripheral nerve. What is a dermatome? We mean by a dermatome, you know that all of the body, all of the skin on the body uh, is innervated by sensory nerve ending. And this sensory nerve ending comes from the peripheral nerves. And the peripheral nerves coming from a part of the spinal cord which we term it a segment of the spinal cord. So, a dermatome is an area of the skin supplied by peripheral nerves fiber originated from a single dorsal root ganglia. Dorsal root ganglia, it is a ganglia in the dorsal root of the peripheral nerves. Each peripheral nerves having a ventral root and dorsal root when it arises from the spinal cord. So, it's originated in the dorsal root ganglia from a special segment. If a nerve cut, one loses sensation from that dermatome. Because each segment of the cord innervates a different region of the body. Dermatomes can be precisely mapped on the body surface and loss of sensation in a dermatome can indicate the exact level of a spinal cord damage in a clinical assessment of injury of the part or the segment of the spinal cord يعني إذا فقدنا حاسة التحسس أو الحس في جزء من الجلد من الجسم يعني هناك أما هناك ضغط على العصب المغذي لهذا الجزء أو الضغط على جزء من الحبل الشوكي الذي يغذي the segment of the spinal cord that innervate this part of the skin What are the internal structure? What is the structure of the spinal cord? ما هو تركيبة الspinal cord الحبل الشوكي أكيد it's form of what white matter and gray matter. Okay. If we do a transverse section in the spinal cord, it's appear in this manner. White matter, white peripheral matter, and central gray matter. And the central gray matter distributed as anterior horn, 
posterior horn or dorsal ventral or dorsal or an intermedial lateral and lateral horn transverse section of adult spinal cord show white matter in the periphery okay a gray matter inside and a tiny the gray matter because they are cells neurons which are taking darker stain inside a tiny central canal filled with CSF the central canal that is the central canal of the spinal cord and it's the higher magnification histological section of the central canal look that is the central canal okay filled with CSF fluid at its center surrounding the canal is a single layer of cells the ependymal layer that is the ependymal layer and there are three in type tiny site CSF containing neurons epin ependymocytes and super ependymal cells these are the ependymal cells surrounded the ependymal layer is the gray matter around the ependymal layer is the gray matter look is gray matter uh, a region containing cells body shaped like the letter H or buffer the whole gray matter like a, a buffer that is the commercial part the two wings of the butter butter fly يعني الجري ماتر the two wings of the gray matter are connected across the midline by a dorsal gray commissure dorsal gray commissure and below the white commissure and below the white commissure that is the white commissure and that's the gray commissure okay the shape and size of the gray matter varies according to the spinal cord level. The amount and shape of the gray matter differ according to the part of the spinal cord or the level of the spinal cord. At the lower level, the ratio between gray matter and white matter is greater than in high level. Many mainly because lower level containing less ascending and descending fiber okay the dorsal horn is found at all spinal cord level and is comprised of sensory nuclei so the dorsal horn form of sensory nuclei while the ventral horn mainly are neurons motor neurons the sensory nuclei that receive and process incoming somatosensory information. From there, ascending projection emerge to transmit the sensory information to the midbrain and diencephalon. The intermediate column and the lateral horn comprises autonomic nervous uh, neurons innervating visceral and pelvic organs even the lateral and intermediate horn are responsible are or having a communication with the autonomic nervous system and uh, supplying or innervating the visceral organ visceral and pelvic organ the ventral horn comprises motor neuron that innervating the skeletal muscle so in summary the horizontal section if we do a horizontal section through the spinal cord okay it will be having white and gray matter the white matter in the periphery the gray matter in the center and the gray matter having dorsal horn ventral horn intermediate lateral and lateral horn and the size of the gray matter and shape differ according to the level according to the level and the lateral gray horn and intermediate lateral are in communication with the uh, autonomic nervous system and supplying the visceral and pelvic organ. Now the spinal cord having a nuclei, what do we mean by nuclei and lamina?
the nuclei and lamina are the site where the the the, the, the collection of neurons collection of neurons so their collection or aggregation of neurons known as nuclei the prominent nuclei nuclear groups of the cell columns within the spinal cord from the dorsal to the ventral are the marginal zone the marginal zone okay substantia nigra it is written here marginal zone substantia nigra that is the marginal zone and that is the substantia nigra the nucleus proprius the nucleus dorsalis or clark column intermedio lateral cells group intermedio medial cell group medial group lateral group these are the nuclei inside the gray matter of the spinal cord and the horn are the dorsal horn intermediate gray horn ventral horn and intermediate lateral and so on sometime taking the name of the part of the brain and part of the spinal cord that reach it For example, dorsal spinocerebellar. Dorsal spinocerebellar. It means coming from the cerebellum. Coming from the cerebellum to the spinal cord. Ventro spinocerebellar vesiculus. Vesiculus, it means band. Band of axons. And so on. Now, the horizontal section of the spinal cord and show you the gray matter and the posterior median sulcus and anterior median fissure sulcus and fissure and the central canal of the spinal cord the gray matter the lateral gray horn or column anterior column posterior column posterior lateral sulcus and that is the white matter and the central part of the gray matter now this diagram shows us the horns and the shape of the gray matter inside the uh, inside the spinal cord and in the same time how the the spinal nerves arises from the spinal cord by dorsal and ventral root uh, and they form the dorsal root ganglia then uh, to be a trunk and the trunk divided into ventral and dorsal rami now this diagram show us the spinal cord inside the vertebral canal which is formed the vertebral canal formed by the com uh, accumulation of the the vertebral foramen not intervertebral, the vertebral foramen, uh, collection of the all vertebral foramen for making a canal in which the spinal cord extends. And the spinal cord covering are like the brain, pia mater, arachnoid, and dura mater. And the space between the industrial dura, between the bone and the dura mater, is the epidural space filled with fat epidural space with filled with fat which is a site and epidural is giving uh, uh, for anesthesia injected in this space in the epidural space under the arachnoid is the subarachnoid space between the arachnoid and pia mater and many ligaments here denticulate ligaments that is a denticulate ligament uh, suspend the spinal cord uh, from the pia to the arachnoid to the spinal cord suspended and the sub arachnoid space is filled with csf fluid csf fluid sympathetic ganglia by gray and uh, white 
gray and uh, white rami communicants spinal nerves they are 31 pair of spinal nerves leaves spinal cord and passes through intervertebral foramen of the vertebral column and you know the intervertebral foramen form by notch in the upper and notch in the lower uh, vertebra the two notch forming a foramen these 31 pairs are eight cervical because one present up to the c1 and up to t1 however they are seven cervical vertebrae but we have eight thora cervical nerves 12 thoracic five lumbar spinal nerve five sacral spinal nerve and one coccygeal spinal nerve the spinal nerve is connected to the spinal cord by two root dorsal root and ventral root and as we said the dorsal root are the afferent the afferent the uh, the afferent root or the afferent fibers that tr tra transmits sensation sensation from muscle spindle or golgi tendon ending by alpha and beta fiber to the dorsal root ganglia that is afferent fiber while the efferent fiber which coming from the anterior gray horn which are mainly motor neurons that go to the muscle spindle uh, and send an order or uh, uh, order of contraction Re again this diagram shows us the how the dorsal and ventral root arise from the spinal cord making the dorsal root ganglia and the trunk the spinal nerve trunk and the spinal nerve trunk having a communication with the sympathetic chain around the vertebral column two pair of sympathetic ganglia are present along the vertebral column uh, joined by gray and rami communicants and these having a relation to the lateral gray horde which is responsible for innervation of the viscera by sympathetic and sympathetic innervation the upper cervical region spinal nerve root are short and run almost horizontally because they take its way to the uh, upper arm the root of the lumbar sacral below the level of the termination of the cord form a bundle of nerve that resemble a horse tail called cow the equine look the lumbosacral plexus arises from the level of the lumbar vertebrae while descend downward to making a, a horse tail shape to get out because the spinal cord is, is shorter than the vertebral canal. Anterior and posterior root unite to form a spinal nerve as we said so that motor and sensory fiber become mixed together. Now a motor unit anterior gray horn efferent fibers to the muscle fiber Andre again here, receptor sensor receptors gets its way to the dorsal organ ganglia and to the, uh, the dorsal horn of the uh, spinal cord. Spinal nerve ramus, posterior ramus, anterior ramus and rami communicants the anterior the posterior ramus passes posteriorly around the vertebral column to supply the muscle and skin of the back anterior ramus 
continues anteriorly to supply muscle and skin over the anterior lateral body wall and all of the muscle and the skin of the limb then the anterior muscle continues anteriorly to supply muscle and the skin over the anterior lateral body wall and all the muscle and the skin of the limb Rami communicants thoracic spinal nerve branches that associated with sympathetic part of the autonomic nervous system اللي اني ذكرت قبل قليل بانه رامي وايت اند رامي كومينيكنس كومينيكيتس وذ ذا سيمباثيتك جانجليا تو سبلاي سيمباثيتك انرفيشن تو ذا فيزرا اند سكن ري اجين اولسو ذيس دايجرام شو ذا فينترال دورز رامي جراي رامي كومينيكنس وايت رامي كومينيكنس اند سو بلاكسسس The anterior rami join one another to form complicated nerve plexus. Cervical and brachial plexus found at the root of the upper limb. Lumbar and sacral plexus found at the root of the lower limb. Then, the collection of nerves, the anterior rami join one another to form complicated nerve plexus. So we have cervical and brachial plexus and we have lumbar and sacral plexus. Dermatome. Re again dermatome. Now we said part of the skin supplied by sensation supplied by peripheral nerve and this peripheral nerve already coming from a segment of the spinal cord. So look resemble you raise your hand and abduct lower limb so making a horizontal distribution of the uh, or uh, horizontal rows to resemble how the body is innervated or the skin innervated by sensory nerves from these areas look at the umbilicus at the umbilicus is t10 and above it begins from t1 T2 downward to T10. T T Below the umbilicus, T11 and T12. Okay, so the dermatome is the part of the skin that supplied by sensory innervation from special segment in the spinal cord. The area of the skin supplied by a single spinal nerve and therefore a single segment of the spinal cord called dermatome. Arrangement of dermatome is more complicated because of the embryological changes change that take place as the limb grow out from the body wall. Also, this diagram shows the distribution of the uh, spinal nerves on the skin. Segmental innervation of muscle. Most of skeletal muscles are innervated by two, three or four spinal nerve. So they have same number of segment of a spinal cord. The segmental innervation of the muscle should be known because they can be tested by eliciting simple muscle reflex in the patient. يعني يجب أن نعرف كل منطقة من الجسم ومن العضلات بأي عصب يغذى لأنه يعطينا indication of the affection لتأثر أو المنطقة المتأثرة من الحبل الشوكي لأنه كل عضلة تغذى بمقطع محدد من الحبل الشوكي على سبيل المثال tender reflex of the biceps look is the reflex of the biceps because the innervation of the biceps or the tendon when you stroke on it or uh, compress on it will give you this reflex so for the triceps cause extension of elbow and also for the elbow Checking the plantar ref reflex. 
ذني باتيلر ريفلكس ني جيرك فروم ا سوباين بوزيشن اكيلس ريفلكس انكل جيرك بلانتر ريفلكشن اوف ذا انكل كوز بلانتر ريفلكشن كرينال نيرفز at the end we have to uh, hearing something about the cranial nerve because the last lecture will be the cranial nerves the cranial nerves it means the nerves that arise from the cranial cavity from the brain they are 12 pair leave in the brain and passes through foramen of the skull foramen of the skull all the nerves are distributed in the head and neck except the vagus 10th nerve which supplied structure in the thoracic and abdomen cranial nerves are include olfactory optic oculomotor trochlear trigeminal abdosent facial vestibulocochlear Glossopharyngeal, vagus, spinal accessory, and hypoglossal nerve.